welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host, Jennifer. This is a take two situation, and actually it's kind of like a take five. <laughs> I've tried a couple times to make this video already, and I keep messing up. So I had to go back to the drawing board and make notes for myself, because my brain is a little scrambled today. But that's okay, because, you know, I can laugh at myself. I am showing you new yarns because it is Friday, and we know what that means here on Cinnamon Stitches. Friday is the day we show all of the yarn. So I actually have several yarns that I want to show you, and I'm going to talk about these yarns. Um, I placed an order with Premier Yarns, and we're going to talk about the yarn that I purchased that is not new first. And the reason we're going to talk about that first is because there's a little bit of a hiccup with my order and we're going to discuss that and we're going to also discuss the yarn itself and it might not possibly be available after this video so we'll see <laughs> because this yarn now this is not the yarn I bought but this is some I had in my stash already this yarn is Stitch Studio by Nicole and it is the Bell yarn Stitch Studio is the brand of the the company and then the bell yarn is the brand of this specific type of yarn this yarn is a bulky number five it is soft it is plump it is lush it is so delicious to work with i purchased this when a seymour was still open this yarn retailed regular price 9.99 but it was always on sale for five dollars and i never purchased it unless it was on sale for five dollars or i had a 60 percent off coupon regular price which would made this like four dollars but this is the one and only skein I have of this in my stash left because we know that AC Moore went out of business. And when AC Moore went out of business, they sold some of their store locations to Michaels for Michaels to upgrade their stores or move into the locations. And they sold some of the yarn brands to AC Moore or to Michaels and to Premier Yarns. Premier Yarns carries the bell. They are almost out of stock. And I'm going to say that is where my problem came in. <laughs> I ordered two balls. I ordered this color in navy and I ordered a ball in white. The white, by the time they filled my order, had went out of stock. So it took about two weeks for them to fill my order. And then when they got to my order, the white was gone already. So I received an email that said, we're sorry, the white is out of stock. Would you like to substitute another color? All they had left in stock was navy and black at the time. I don't want black yarn. I, I have no interest in black. I don't like working with black. I don't like neutrals in general, but black yarn specifically. We know the problem with black yarn. It's hard to see. It's hard to see the stitches. It's hard to see what you're doing. It, it's, it's difficult to work with. You have to want to work with black yarn. I had no interest in working with black yarn. I wanted the navy and the white. I thought it would be pretty. So I said, well, just substitute the white for another ball of navy. Well, when my order came... This is the only ball that was in there. There should have been two navies. So I contacted customer service yesterday and asked them, hey, what's up? And then I checked the website and the website says they're out of stock of the navy as well. But I got a response from Premier saying that they will send me the ball that I am owed. Which I don't know how they're gonna do that if it's out of stock, but I'm waiting to hear back today with another email saying that they don't have it. What can we do to <laughs> refund you something? So <laughs> I got my one and only bell yarn like i said this is in the color navy it is a bulky oh this is a super bulky six i was wrong i thought it was a five yeah super bulky six it is machine wash gentle tumble dry low 100 percent acrylic approximately 263 yards in this 300 gram ball so why am i telling you about this yarn if it's not available well it is available on Premier's website, but only in the color black, and the price is $4.79. This also was at one time available on Michaels.com, and Michaels has sold out of all of these colors, but if you want black, if you need to have a use for a super bulky black, it's a really good yarn, and it will not be around for long, so I'm glad I got that single ball to work with in the future. <sighs> so then... I also ordered a ball of the Stitch Studio Earth Tone. Now the Earth Tone is also almost sold out because it is the same thing. It was an AC Moore yarn that got bought out by both Michaels and Premier Yarns. And they are almost out of stock on both websites. 
the let's see premiere only has this colorway left which is the navy which is not it's coming out blown out um it is six dollars and 39 cents on premiere's website and they only have the navy left in stock and michaels.com also carries this yarn but they only have the silver in stock and it is $9.99. This yarn is a really, really nice yarn. It is a worsted weight number four. It is 95% acrylic, 5% viscose, which is all those little specks, I believe. And yeah, this yarn I have experience with because when it first was released at AC Moore, and again, this was retail $9.99 AC more and it was always on sale for five dollars so I always paid five dollars for this um so I bought this yarn in the color red probably two years ago when it came out in AC more and the reason I bought it is I've told this story in the past it reminded me of my papa my papa lived down the street from us and I was not close to the man whatsoever but I did spend time at his house for various reasons he was in my life daily, but he was not so much a grandfather figure, if that makes sense. Um, anyway, he had a really strange backyard. You guys know that I lived in a, in a very poor neighborhood, a very um, high crime neighborhood. It was a really strange place for him to have the type of yard he had. He had in his backyard lots of pens and coops for farm animals. He had ducks at one time. He had rabbits. He had chickens. He had pheasants. He had quails. My uncle had pigeons in the backyard in a coop. There was lots of animals always around. And my grandfather seemed to only have one shirt ever. He had like his red flannel shirt. <laughs> he always seemed to have chicken feathers or something on him. So he would always have a red flannel shirt on with chicken feathers. And when I saw this yarn... It reminded me, especially the red that I had, it reminded me of his shirt. The red flannel with chicken feathers stuck to it. So we have all these Tweety bits and that's just, that's why I like this yarn. Because it reminded me of, you know, my childhood memories of him. So now that we got past that, let's get on to the new yarn that is featured on Premiere's website. They just came out with a new yarn. They actually released it during Premiere Week. And which was kind of cool. And they released a new wool line of yarn. And I purchased some because I wanted to try it out. I wanted to give it a review. I wanted to show you guys what I thought of the yarn. There's actually, the new brand is called Stitch Please. And <laughs> legitimately, it's Stitch Please. <laughs> it is a wool yarn. It's 100% wool. They have two sizes in each one of the varieties so they have 100% wool in bulky and in worsted and then they have 100% superwash wool in bulky and worsted weight and I'm going to show you all four of those yarns right now because I have them I purchased two in each of the yarns to get a variety of color and because sometimes when you get yarn and it's different dye lots the yarn will have different textures on the way the dye has reacted to the fibers. And so like with some yarns, like you can feel the different colors. And so that's why I like to order different colors so I can see if that makes a difference. Because between these two, the pink is softer. But I notice that purple a lot of times causes a roughness in the yarn. And these two are so similar in colors that like they feel exactly the same. Okay, so to get started, we're going to go... We're going to start with 100% wool, and this is not super wash. It is just wool, which means it's going to be a hand wash, cold, lay flat to dry type situation. You are not going to want to throw this in the washer. You're not going to want to put this in hot water. You're, not, you're, going, to, you're going to want to be careful with this because it will felt. But if you want to use it for felting, I mean, it'll be perfect for felting. Um, this is a bulky number five. This is 100% wool. And you can feel that it's 100% wool. And it is 120 yards. <coughs> now, whoever they have hanking their yarns up needs to go back to the drawing board and do a little bit of work. This one was not even really hanked. It was kind of folded in half and twisted and shoved in the label. And it looked so bad that I had to rehank it, which it doesn't even look that great now. 
but it looked so bad. It almost looked like there was two Hanks shoved into this ball band. So <laughs> some of your Hanks are going to come to you not so pretty. I'm just going to give you fair warning on that one. And this yarn is coming out blown out. So we're going to bring the color down a little bit. That's accurate. That is accurate. The, um, this is the colorway Lilac You A Lot. See if we can get it to Lilac You A Lot. And this one is Pink Flamingo. So, the color is absolutely stunning. The colors are very saturated, beautiful, but this yarn is definitely 100% wool and it is not soft. It's a little bit scratchy. And if you have ever pet a lamb, that's pretty much what this feels like. <laughs> it's just, it feels like raw wool to me. And I also noticed they haven't really decided on the labeling. The labels don't really match. So I don't know which labels is going to be their final label product. If it's going to be the darker, if it's going to be with the whiter for the, the chunky. Now this is the chunky. They also have it in worsted weight. Now, a little bit about this yarn. It is, I told you, it's a bulky number five. It's 120 yards. It retails for $5.99. And it comes in 56 colors, which is a lot of colors for wool. I know a lot of wool yarns will come in like maybe 10 colors, maybe 12, 20 at the very most. But this comes in 56 colors. And the colors all have like really cute names like Pink Flamingo or Lilac You A Lot. And... The names are all kind of cute, kind of funny. Like, I really like the names. I love the colors. I don't know that I will buy this 100% wool yarn again because this is not wearable to me without something underneath it. So it's itchy and I it just, it bothers my skin a little bit. So I'm just going to say that about this. I'm going to work with it and give it a try, but I don't know that I will buy the 100% worsted again. The price point is fantastic. $5.99, that's good for wool. It, that's a really good price, but just for me, it's, it's a little bit scratchy to me. And the same thing with the worsted. This is not as scratchy as the bulky, but it still is very, it's very wooly. It's not, I mean, it, you can tell there's wool in it. It's 100% wool. So the worsted is 220 yards, and this is a dollar more. So this is $6.99, whereas the bulky is $5.99. And this comes in 70 different colors. 70 different colors. And a lot of them are super saturated, super just absolutely beautiful, stunning, saturated colors. This one is making it rain. <laughs> making it rain up in here. And then this one is Be More Pacific, which I think is hilarious. Because there's a lot of people that say Pacific instead of specific. So <laughs> I just think that's funny. And then these two colors are very much coordinating. So these will probably be worked in a project together. And let's see. Did I tell you everything you need to know? It recommends a 45 millimeter knitting needles or 55 millimeter crochet hook. So that is the Stitch Please Worsted 100% little bit scratchy wool. This isn't bad, but I just, it's, it's a texture thing for me. You guys know that I have issues with my hands and I have the eczema going on. And right now I'm having like a pretty good flare up because of hand sanitizer and I've got blisters on my hands and I'm dry and my hands are kind of painful. And so this feels yuck to me at this moment. It might not bother you if you don't have a problem with wool. Um, that might be perfect for you if you really like wool. I highly recommend that as a really nice yarn. It's a good price point. But for me, I don't think that I will purchase that again. However, there's two more yarns that I have not shown you that I will most definitely be purchasing again in the future. Now, this is the Stitch Please Super Wash. So this can be washed, although I probably would still hand wash it because that's what I do. But <laughs> this is... Superwash Chunky. This is 106 yards 
And this one is $8.99. So it's definitely a higher price point. So you're going to have to take that into consideration. This is the color Orchid. This is available in 48 different colors. And some of the colors are worsted or worsted. They're heathered like this. Let me bring that. This is the accurate color right here. It is absolutely beautiful. And it's got that beautiful heathering to it. I just think this is absolutely gorgeous yarn. I do, however, wish that they had put this in the Hank form instead of the ball form. I think it just would have looked nicer, especially for $8.99. Like, I think this probably would have been better off in a Hank form. Although, a lot of people do prefer the ball form because you can center pull with these balls. These balls you can throw into a yarn bowl and just use them. Whereas, with the Hanks, you do have to put them on a Swift and you have to cake them up or ball them up. You can hand ball them, but I find that to be very tedious. And I, I ain't got time for that. I just put them on my Swift and I cake them up. <laughs> but, yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. So, this is the color Orchid and this is the color hibiscus let me bring my color back down because it is showing up blown out there that is the accurate color to these two yarns so have I said everything I need to say about these these are beautiful I, I will purchase these these are not super super buttery soft you can still tell that they're wool but I would be more inclined to wear this against my bare skin than the 100% wool just because that is itchy to me and this is not bothering my hands at all but it's not soft it is it's a it's a a sturdy yarn I'll say that it's sturdy <laughs> and then last but not least they also have the stitch please super wash in worsted weight and these are number four this is the color Blue Waters, which is not blue at all. And then Calypso, which I absolutely, I love this colorway. I think these two are so gorgeous together. And again, I'm going to bring the brightness down a little bit because I don't even know if that does it justice. Let's see. That's about accurate. So this is not so much a blue it says blue water, but it's not really blue. It's more turquoise. It's definitely more turquoise. It's got like a greeny, a green hint to it. It's absolutely beautiful though. I'm trying to get the color just right. There we go. That's the color. That's accurate. <laughs> so, yeah, these are actually really beautiful. And these are slightly softer than the bulky. Don't know why. Don't know why. But these colors are gorgeous. Again, these come in 48 different colors. And they are all super, super. I know you can't tell how super saturated these are. They're so super saturated. There you go. Super saturated. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. All 48 colors of them. And like I said, some of the colorways, you have to click on the color swab, the circle on Premier's website. Click on it because... It shows you that some of the colorways are heathered like this, and they are just so beautiful. There's a green that is heathered like that. I just think it's absolutely stunning. My opinion. Oh, these, I forgot to say, these are also $8.99 for the worsted weight. So the Superwash Bulky and Worsted Weight are $8.99. The 100% wool non Superwash is $5.99 for the Chunky and $6.99 for the worsted so yeah that's what i have to show you today on our friday episode of yarn and yeah let me know what you think let me know if you plan on purchasing any of these yarns i totally am interested to see what colorways you guys get now i'm going to work with these before i decide whether i'm going to order more or not but these colorways are so stinking beautiful so beautiful. Look at that. <sighs> I'm a sucker for color. I just love color so much. <laughs> so I was really happy when I saw that Premiere released these. And actually Premiere also opened a TikTok for 
just their Stitch Please line. So if you go to TikTok and you search Stitch Please, you will find them. Um, they also have, I think, their own Instagram. I will try to link these things below if I can remember to. I'll put. I'll make a note. Link, Tickety Talk, and the Gram. <laughs> so I remember to put that in the description box below if you're interested in following them on the, those platforms. They're doing some cute little videos, and I enjoy seeing the yarn in the videos. So, you know. Also, I have a TikTok. I should probably fix that in the description box below. I'm Cinnamon Stitches everywhere. Just search Cinnamon Stitches. You'll find me. If you don't see my picture, it's not me. But anyway, I'm going to let you go. I hope you enjoyed our yarn day on Friday. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.